there, kids, and welcome to Super Simple Science Stuff. I'm Dizzy Izzy, and well, I'm all alone today. Dr. Quack is sick, and I just don't know what to do. Dizzy, oh my gosh. Hey, can you get out of here? We're filming. Is that any way to greet your favorite cousin? Oh my goodness, Swirly Shirley from Connecticut. In the flesh. My goodness, I haven't seen you in forever. But what are you doing here? Your mom said I could find you here. She said you're on a big TV show. Well, as a matter of fact, I am. Or I was. Dr. Quack is the host of the TV show, and he's sick. Oh, no. Yeah. He left me a note saying that he wants me to teach everyone about germs. But what do I know about germs? I'm just the lab assistant. Well, hey, I'll help you teach the kids about germs. You will? Sure. As a matter of fact, I'm the town doctor. And I think everyone needs to know a thing or two about germs. Germs are what made Dr. Quack sick in the first place. Really? Absolutely. Let's see if he left us anything to help teach the kids about germs. Well, look here. He left a jar full of germs right on his desk. No, don't open that. Are you trying to get us all sick? Come on, Shirley. There's nothing in this jar. It looks empty, but those germs are in there. They are? Sure. Germs are teeny tiny little life forms that you can't see with the naked eye. That's how they sneak up on us. We never see them coming. So how do they make us sick? They sneak inside your body. They do? Sure, they can get in through your eyes, your mouth, your nose, and even if you get a cut on your arm, they can get in through your blood. Oh, no! They sound scary! They can be, but don't worry. Your body has tons of defense systems to keep them out. And even if they do get inside, you've got some powerful defenses to get rid of them. Wow, you sure do know a lot about germs. Say, you want to stick around and teach us some more? I'd love to, but first, I gotta take a break. I had a long ride, and I gotta use the little girl's room. Did you know that penicillin, one of the most frequently used drugs in fighting germs, was discovered by accident? A scientist named Alexander Fleming was cleaning out his lab one day, and he found a mold growing in one of his dishes. A mold that could kill germs. That is some good hand soap. Look, I killed all the germs. Wow, you can kill germs just by washing your hands? Sure, all you need is some warm water and an antibacterial hand soap. Don't you mean anti-germ soap to kill those germs? Antibacterial is anti-germ. Bacteria is a type of germ. Oh, I see. Bacteria are tiny organisms that can be found everywhere, and I mean everywhere. There are even some bacteria, good bacteria that live inside your body and help you digest food. You mean there are good germs too? Of course, but there's also a lot of bad bacteria. They can reproduce on their own, and if they get inside your body, they can make you really sick. That's why it's important to wash your hands and body and keep places where germs can easily grow, like the kitchen sink, clean. Even if you do get sick though, most forms of bacteria can be easily treated with drugs like penicillin. Well, what about the other germ? What's it called? The other type of germ is a virus. Unlike bacteria, viruses can't reproduce on their own, and they can't live nearly as long outside your body either. Well, what do they do? Viruses attach to your cells. That's the tiniest part of your body. And they fill the cell with copies of themselves until the cell gets so full it bursts. Then they move on to infect other cells. Ew, that sounds nasty. Viruses can be very nasty, and there aren't as many drugs out there to help your body fight them off. Wow, that really is amazing. Say, what do you kids know about germs? How do you think germs are spread? I think germs are spread by sneezing and coughing. By coughing and by sneezing. Germs get on the telephones when you cough on your hand. When you, when you go outside, you can get germs all over you because there's germs all over outside if you cough on somebody. What are you doing, Dizzy? I'm hiding. I can see you, you know. 
I'm not hiding from you. I'm hiding from the germs. I don't want them to get me. You don't have to wear a gas mask from germs. As long as you use good hygiene, washing your hands and brushing your teeth, you should be pretty safe. But not completely safe. They could still get me sick. Well, yeah, but you should know. Your body has a great system of defenses against germs. It does? Well, sure. You'd be amazed at how many barriers a germ has to pass before it can get you sick. Like what? First of all, the major openings of your body, like your nose, mouth, and ears, have stuff inside designed to catch germs. Sticky stuff like earwax and mucus. You mean all that gunk inside my nose is there to help me? Sure. That'll make you think twice before you pick your nose again. I don't pick my nose. Are you sure? Second of all, your body has a whole system called the immune system that goes to work as soon as it spots a germ. Not only does it attack and kill the germs, it makes copies so that next time one gets in, it can spot them more quickly. Kind of like the Old West, right? What do you mean? I mean the immune system makes wanted posters of the germs and puts them all over your body. Something like that, yeah. I'm glad that my immune system can fight germs, but I don't like how the germs make me feel. Sometimes they make me cough and sneeze, and sometimes they even make me barf. Believe it or not, that's not the germs doing that. Those are all methods your body uses of getting rid of germs. Really? Sure, when you cough, sneeze, or even puke, your body is trying to get germs outside of itself. A fever is your body's way of fighting germs, too. Germs can't live above normal body temperature, so when the heat rises just a few degrees... My body cooks the germs! Exactly! Wow, I didn't realize all that was going on when I was sick. Man, when I'm sick, I feel really lazy, but I'm working hard. You sure are. But even though your body's working hard, it's still helpful to see a doctor. Your bodies have a pretty powerful system of defenses, but it can always use a hand. Did you know that a virus can only live for about two hours to two days outside the body? That's not a long time, but it's long enough that you better wash those hands after you use the bathroom. Are there germs growing in your house? Here's an experiment you can try at home to find out where they are and how fast they can grow. For this experiment, you'll need four Ziploc bags, a marker, one large potato, a sharp knife, and an adult helper to handle the knife. Remember, you need an adult helper to work with you on this experiment. For this experiment, you first want to have an adult helper cut a potato into four pieces. Like this. Once you have your potato into four pieces, you want to take the first piece of potato and rinse it off real good. Scrubby, scrubby. Now that I have a super clean potato, I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag. We're going to call this one a control potato. The control potato is going to help us determine how many germs were on the potato to start with. With the second piece of potato, you're going to want to take it and rub it along a surface in your kitchen. Put that in a bag and label it kitchen. This is going to help you find out how many germs are in your kitchen. With the third piece of potato, you want to take it and rub it along the surface in your bathroom. Since we don't have a bathroom here on set, I'm going to let you do that at home. Once you do rub the potato on a surface in your bathroom, put that one in a Ziploc bag, and you're going to label it, take a guess, bathroom. 
The bathroom potato is gonna let you determine how many germs are in your bathroom. Bathroom potato! Now, hang on to the fourth piece of potato, and the next time you go out to play, Was that fun? As I was saying, the next time you go out to play, rub your hands on the potato real good. And then stick that in the Ziploc bag with your name on it. We're gonna get to call this one the Dizzy Izzy Potato. I'm gonna get to find out how many germs are on my hands when I go out to play. Dizzy Izzy Potato. Now that you have your four potatoes in bags, seal them up really tight. Once you have all four bags sealed up, have an adult helper store them in a safe, dark place. But before you go, write down a prediction, or what we scientists call hypothesis, about each of the four potatoes. Which one will have the most germs on it? Which one will have the least? Where will the potato with your germs rank? At the end of the week, pull out all four bags and examine the content, but do not open them. Compare your hypothesis with the observations you made on the potatoes. Which one had the most germs? Which one had the least? Where did your potato rank? Last but not least, have an adult helper pour bleach into all four bags and throw them away. Remember, these are very germy potatoes and you do not want to do this without an adult helper. I can't believe that the germs are everywhere. They are, and while no one wants to live in fear of germs, we need to learn to stay aware of them. Say, that gives me an idea. Do you want to play a game? You know me, cuz. I'm always up for a game. All right, well, let me go get the materials we need to play. Well, there you have it, the materials we need. We need hand lotion, glitter, some paper towels, some soap, and water. If you don't want to use a bowl of water, you can use your water out of your kitchen sink or your bathroom sink. I love glitter, this is gonna be fun. What do I have to do? Well, first you're gonna take some hand lotion and you're gonna put it on your hand. Not too much. Now, take the hand lotion and rub it together so you have a light coating on both of your hands. There you go, good job. Now the next thing you wanna do is grab an adult helper and have them sprinkle a little bit of glitter on one of your hands. Will you be my adult helper? Of course I will. Here comes the glitter. Oh, it's all glittery. There you go. Are you ready for this? Make a fist. Open it up. They're everywhere. You want to get rid of them? Sure. Well, try wiping them with your other hand. It's not working, they're just spreading. How about you try to get a paper towel and wipe them off? Give me that. Wait, 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 don't 
set that on the table. I don't want the germs to get on there. Germs? Yeah, but not real germs. We don't want to play with those. They'll make us sick. Oh. Well, now what? Well, I really don't want to get germs. So, if you give me the germs, then I'm going to be really sad. You don't want to get germs? No. Hey! You just gave me the germs! You know what I think about that? <gasps> These germs are everywhere now. How are we going to get them off? What did you do to get rid of the germs when you went to the bathroom? Smart. Very smart. We better go to the bathroom and wash our hands. And your nose. <laughs> wow, that really did work. My hands are all clean. That was quite a game, Dizzy. It really shows how easily germs can spread. Yeah, and even though the germs can't get into your body through the skin, do you remember what happened whenever you put the glitter on my nose? Whenever you touch your hands to your nose, mouth, or ears, you're spreading germs on them. Yeah, that's why it's important to wash your hands. Even though you can't kill all the germs, every little bit counts. You said it. What can you do to help prevent the spread of germs? I think you can stop the germs by washing your hands. Cough in your elbow and wash your hands if you wash your hands and cover your mouth. Watch, wash dirty plates and everything that's dirty. Hey Whoa, thanks for the germs, Dizzy. I didn't give you germs, I sneezed. What did we say about your nose? It's the first line of defense against germs. The mucus inside helps trap germs so they don't get in. And when you sneeze... You blow them away! Exactly. I guess you're right, Shirley. I'm sorry. I should have covered my mouth when I sneezed. That's right. Whenever you cough or sneeze, press your nose and your mouth into the inside of your elbow. You mean like this? Just like that. Then you won't be spreading any gross, nasty germs to people around you. Yeah, but then the germs are all in my shirt. So you better be sure to go home and wash it. You're right. What else can we do to get rid of the germs? How about brushing your teeth? Really? That works? Sure. Germs love a damp, warm place where they can grow and reproduce. In fact, germs are the reason we get bad breath. They are? Sure. As germs reproduce, they release the stinky odor that makes your breath smell bad. Yeah, but I can get rid of those germs by brushing my teeth. Right? And it helps to use a good antibacterial mouthwash, too. What else can I do to get rid of the germs? I'll tell you one very important thing. Take care of your body. Eat right, exercise, and get plenty of sleep. Really? Are you serious? That'll help me fight the germs? Sure. When you're eating a healthy diet, staying in shape, and getting plenty of rest, your body works better, including your immune system. And when my immune system works, I can really fight on those germs. Wow, Dizzy. For someone who didn't know much about germs, you're becoming a real expert. Thanks, Shirley. Let's see what you kids remember about germs. Are you ready to take a quiz? Bacteria and viruses are two kinds of what? A, medicine, B, germs, or C, parts of the body. If you said A, germs, you're right. Which type of germ can reproduce on its own? Bacteria or viruses? Did you say bacteria? You're right! True or false? There's good bacteria that lives inside our bodies. If you said true, you're right! What is the name of the system in your body that fights germs? A the immune system, B, the circulatory system, C, the digestive system, or D, the respiratory system? 
If you said immune system, you're correct. What is one way we can prevent the spread of germs? A, rubbing your hands together. B, rubbing your hands on your clothes. C, wiping your hands on a paper towel. Or D, washing your hands with soap and water. If you said washing your hands with soap and water, you're right. I can't believe it's time for us to go already. I know, I had such a great time. I sure hope Dr. Quack gets better real soon. Yeah, me too. Say, you wanna go get some dinner? That'd be great. But remember, we gotta wash up first. You're right. Kids, we're gonna go wash up now and have some dinner. And I hope you remember to stay germ-free. And also remember that the Earth is full of fascinating things to learn about. And we'll teach you more next time right here on Say It With Me Cuz. Sure thing. Super simple science stuff. Bye. Bye. See you later. Toodles. See you next time. Later.